Like many of you, I love Dollar Tree and it has a really special place in my heart. It has so much to offer, like these if you look beyond the merchandise. These are five organizers I got for free and I'm so excited to share how I brought them home to change them from literal trash to treasure. Come shopping with me at the Dollar Tree. Let's face it, sometimes what they sell just isn't worth the money. I also find it a little bit ironic that for a store that is at the heart of so many organizing videos, the store itself is often disorganized. But look beyond all this and you too can find organizing gold for free. I do want to stipulate that I ask a Dollar Tree employee first if it's okay for me to take any empty boxes. I also make it a point to leave shelves better than I found them. Because like Mr. Angry Ball here, I wouldn't want people coming into my home messing it up either. So let's make the employees' jobs a little bit easier by removing mostly empty boxes and tidying some of the affected merchandise, picking up items off the floor and placing them back so that we can give other shoppers a better experience. This way, we can go home with free organizers, Mr. Angry Ball can go back to his totally awesome home, and we can make our homes a little more organized for free. It's wins all around in my book. This first organizer is actually a display stand for some cocoa butter sticks that the DT sells. And I've actually been eyeing this for some time, but the last times I was here, I couldn't take it without leaving a mess. Today must have been my lucky day, and I was able to consolidate all the items to one case and take the empty one home with me. This ended up being perfect for my son in his school landing area. He has his school ID, bus pass, and various small items he likes to keep in his pockets. I also really like that I can put little notes in there to remind him of things. If you have a lot of gift cards like we do, you can use these as a visual organizer that will fit nicely into drawers. It makes it really easy to see all the gift cards that you have available and then you can use them up. Next up are these candle boxes. These are awesome because you can invert them on all four sides. I brought them home and was able to change them into sliding drawers for my under cabinet sink areas. It really keeps everything nice and tidy and I'm able to pull it out really easily so that I can access everything that I need. To invert them, they're usually little slots with little tabs that fit into the slots. So I push with one finger from the bottom and try to pry it up with another finger from the top. And this usually works really well to get all the sides completely out. This clear bin was holding some headbands and it was completely empty near the checkout so I didn't get any in-store footage of it. I'm able to use this in the bathroom to organize hand towels for when guests come over. It's plastic so no fear of it getting wet and it's beautifully clear so that there's no question what it is. It also fits really nicely into the under sink area. This beauty was sitting right next to the other one and it was empty so I have no idea what it was holding. But I brought this home with me to hold all the flashcards that my son uses for vocabulary. It fits them all very nicely and he's able to easily pull them all out and access them. These linen boxes are perfect. I'm taking this home with me to change it into a magazine holder. Yes, we do subscribe to magazines. My husband and son do really enjoy them and we get subscriptions for very inexpensive. The last subscription we bought was $8 for two years for Popular Mechanics, which is very worth it to me since my son is reading something with actual physical pages. It's educational and non-electronic. And when we're done with those magazines, we donate them to the school library who happily receives them. This box is wonderfully neutral on all sides and will limit the number of items that we keep on this shelf. I think it's very comparable to these ones that IKEA sells. DT has some great things to offer and in a future video I'll share some of the items that I did buy during this trip but my lens has definitely shifted on the Dollar Tree. I think their items are wonderfully beautiful and useful however I'm a lot more conscious of what I bring into my home these days. I love looking around and seeing all the neat stuff that they have but I'm good with leaving it at that. I really hope you got some great ideas from this video. Let me know down in the comments what free organizers you get and how you use them. You can also tag me on Instagram at Organized Frugal Minimalist to share your findings. I'm so excited to see what you guys come up with. Free organizers are everywhere. Just change your lens. Thanks for watching and I wish you happy organizing.
what? I feel like I stole stuff, but this was all free and legal. Thanks Dollar Tree for the extra goodies. See you next time.